Hello everyone, this is the Yellow Guy Fire Alarm and today we're going to review a system sensor MASS24 and that's it. Yeah, this is the BRK model by the way. So what does that mean? This is a very early variant of the system sensor mass which means this is made between 1988 and up to 1993 or something when ADA was implemented. That's when these were sold. And the strobe is not very bright. It is 1.2 candela, I believe. Yeah, one to improve. Flash rate. Yeah. 1.0, I mean. It's, it's very, very weak. But, um, moving on. What I like about this device is very early. It's old, and this is probably one of the first multi tone devices out there, along with uh, Wheel Lock. But, the problem with this is that you will have to break its tab in order to change its tone. That's right, you have to break its tab. But I have figured around, I figured a way to go around it. So, what I did is take the soundboard apart. I'm not going to take it apart, but you get the idea. Uh, what you do is you scratch up one of the joints. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a joint that goes together. You scratch that up completely, and I get the clip from the other system sensor mask I have, and I put it to these. So, what does this do basically? What it does is that it makes it easier for you to change the tone. For example, when it says break, it means it's making no contact. So, if you see whether it lands on break, you remove it, and it will get you to that tone. And uh, you can just plug it back in and you get the same tone. So, I did that basically so I can make this multi-tone and you can change it instead of being stuck to one tone forever. So, that's one downside I hate about this. And, I will point out one thing. This, the tone changes on these does not sound exactly like a regular mask that was made after this. And I will do a comparison video with this in the future. So stay up with that. And on that, uh, you can look at the back. And it's completely different. This is what it looks like. The good thing is that you don't have to break the tab in order to have the strobe operate separately. There is a terminal for this right here. So you can make this four wire easily. It's unlike the new one where you had to break it, which I really don't feel like doing that, but anyway. So this is what it looks like. It's flat screwdriver instead of one of those Phillips one. And down right here is the potential monitor. So what does this do, you may ask? It does not change the volume of this, and this thing is pretty freaking loud. But what this do is, except for wearable, I think that's what it's called. You can literally change the pitch of this and somewhat the speed. The rate speed, like for example, slow whoop, it goes pretty slow when you lower it and then it goes pretty fast, whatever, and so forth. So that's what this is for, to change the pitch. And I kind of don't know why, unless it's for the breaking tab thing, I guess. Then I'll take it as a grain of salt. But, um,. That's basically the overview of the device. As you can see, you see a lot of resistors, this is the speaker, and yeah, they have taken this apart in order to um, convert this and to clean this as well. As you may have seen in my other video, and if you want to see the video of me cleaning this, I guess you can go ahead and watch it. It's kind of pointless, so anyway, moving on. So let's get on to the device. So uh, this is basically. An early variant of the system sensor masses, as I said earlier, and this tone is different. It's not the same thing as the newer one. So, that's all the review I gotta say about this device, and let's get on with the testing. Have a great day, enjoy the test. 